the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you work in Excel for long enough, it's only a matter of time when you start encountering formula errors. Let's have a look at this spreadsheet, which lists the product name with the quantity and various other categories such as service profit and service cost. If we scroll down through the data set, we will notice some errors, such as one over here, we have another one over here. You have quite a few in column H as well. And now if we were to apply some formulas to columns G and H, you will encounter errors. And also if I try adding column G, I will not get the value over here, I just get the count. So this Excel function also does not work if you have errors. The same thing happens in column H. I try adding it, it does work, but then as soon as I have an error, I don't get the average or the sum. If I also try to apply a formula, to columns G and H, I will get an error. So let's try to apply some formulas here. So if I want to sum the entire column G, I get an error. If I try to calculate an average column G, I get an error again. Similarly, if I apply the same principles to column H, such as trying to sum the numbers, there is an error trying to calculate the average of column H. I have another error. Now if I want to calculate the median of column H, same result doesn't work. If I want to find the minimum value in column H, this also does not work. If I want to find the maximum value of column H, this doesn't work as well. So imagine you're pressed for time and you don't have the time to manually add the cells where there is no error. What do you do? So let me introduce a couple of functions that can help you resolve these issues. The first function is a very valuable function in Excel and it's called formula text. If you have formulas with errors, such as in the cells that I've highlighted, this doesn't really help because it doesn't show what we were trying to do with the formula. So in these situations, formula text can certainly help. Let me show you how it works. So I will start by typing equals formula text, T-E-X-T, -E left parenthesis. I select the cell reference, right parenthesis, enter. So I get the formula that was applied to cell N4, and this is what caused the error. Let me drag it down. That's the average. Let me copy and paste this formula for the functions we tried to calculate in column H as well. So there we go. We had the sum, we had the average, median, min, and max for column H. Now, if you have a formula text applied to the formula with an error, this starts to make your life easier because it shows you exactly what you were trying to achieve and what caused the error. So this is one way. So this is certainly more beneficial than having a look at this, right? Now let's try and see how we can resolve these issues when you're pressed for time. Remember that this spreadsheet only contains 142 rows of data. You may have to deal with a much larger data set. So how do we resolve for these issues? There's a very useful formula in Excel that you can find under the math and trig section that's called aggregate. If we look at the definition of aggregate, Microsoft Excel defines it as returning an aggregate in a list or database. That doesn't quite help us. It doesn't tell us exactly what the aggregate function does. So let me show you what it does. So I'll begin by typing equal aggregate, left parenthesis. And when I type in left parenthesis, I get a number of options over here. So if I want to sum column G, I will select this option, which is the option number nine. So I'll type nine, then I'll do a comma. Then I get some more options. I can ignore nested subtotals. I can ignore hidden rows, error values, and so on. So let's say I want to ignore error values. So that's the option number six. So I type in six, comma, and then I select the array that I want to apply the formula to. So I'll select column G all the way down, right parenthesis, I'll hit enter, 
and let's see what I get. I get 13,308. Let me just format it. Add some formatting for readability. Let's decrease the number of decimal places. So the sum of column G is 13,308, which excludes the error values. Let's apply a formula text over here. We know what formula we applied. Now, if I were to calculate the average of column G, I will use the same aggregate function. Aggregate. So I want the average. That's option number one. I want to ignore the error values. That's option number six. And the array is column G again. And I get the average. Now, if I were to calculate the median for column H, the concept is exactly the same. So I'll type in aggregate. I want the median which is option number 12. I want to ignore the error values, which is option number six. And then I select column H. And there we go. This is the median. So I'll just copy the formula so that I know that I've calculated the median, which is option number 12. And let's apply the same approach for finding minimum and maximum values in column H. To find the minimum value, I need to select option number five. Then I'll ignore the error values and I'll select column H. So the minimum is zero. And lastly, for the maximum value, the maximum is option number four. I will ignore the error values and I'll select the whole column. And there we go. So we've applied the aggregate formula to add the cells without errors. We've also used the aggregate formula to calculate the average. And then we have calculated the median, the minimum, and the maximum values. So this aggregate formula is very robust. It saves you a bunch of time, especially when you're pressed for time and you want to provide a high level approximation. The aggregate formula also has 19 options to pick from. So you can apply some of the most basic and fundamental mathematical calculations. And with time, you will start to remember what each number stands for. For example, nine stands for sum, five stands for minimum, and four stands for maximum. In this module, we discussed how to use formula text and the aggregate formula in Excel. If a formula has an error, it doesn't quite help you. Using the formula text option will enable you to see what exactly the formula was in the first place. Using the aggregate formula, you can evade formula errors and process the data using 19 commonly used mathematical functions. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.